Hello everyone, this is another Sangkudu Dan review and this time is the Ryuho Gundam. This is actually from the Sangkudu Dan Gaiden, which is a side which means is the Free Kingdom side story. Uh, Ryuho is in history is the adapted son of Ruby. He is number one in the Gaiden line, but uh, number three hundred and thirty seven in terms of um, SD Gundam in in release overall, but he still carry the crest of um, of uh, Ruby side because he is the son of Ruby, a daughter son of some sort. We can see that he comes with. Hmm. We can see that he comes with uh, four different eyes, and come with a long spear which uh, the two ends can be taken out as a sword and a bit of the fact that he is the other person of Ruby his special attack the twin dragon tornado strike yeah just means that he spin his blade with the two blades around yeah that's about it okay let's get to the user manual the user manual is pretty simple. In here, a bit of a history of um, of who Ruho is again. Again, about the fact that he is a uh, son of Ruby. Um, suppose he forms the small dragon team with uh, Kanpei and uh, Choho. So a bit of picture of him as well as his, as well as, uh, his weapon. His weapon in um, in spear mode special attack and we got the comic which is the first actually it's an introduction of um, Ruho and it was actually in the middle of a battle we have no idea when but it should be uh, before the red cliff and it was so he's actually in the background of the brave battle warrior somewhere we just didn't see him and he was fighting alone against a um, soldier and when he's basically on a tight spot a mysterious person appeared who called himself Call You Turn X and basically as soon as he, he helped um, Ruho he just walked away and a little bit of a story of what happened during that time and we can see that it is at the time when um, when Soso is invading towards um, Ruby's side, as and at the same time Ruby is seeking help from uh, from Songken and Sosaku. In this story, Sosaku did not actually die early. Yeah, same instruction, pretty normal. This set does come with plenty of stickers, four of the eyes, uh, the dragon pattern for the sword, uh, his shoulder, shoulder uh, armor pattern, uh, the back of his arm, the uh, pattern on his side skirt, the two eyes for uh, the dragon on his chest, um, the gold tee in red, and two silver pieces. I have no idea where they're, they're from. Oh, I, I think that's for the feet. So plenty of stickers, and here is Ruho Gundam. He is an older style SD Gundam kit. As you can see, that he is a bit more squatch. Um, there is only feet. You can actually see the leg, and he actually got a plenty of enough articulation compared to some of the even older SD kit, because his arm actually can go in and out and rotate which is a lot of um, older SD kit cannot do of, the, of course it does lose out in terms of um, the fist doesn't turn and there is no leg therefore there is only one ball joint rotate around and there's no waist and his head is not on is on a pack with a, um, with a poly cap which restricts uh, it to only doing side to side a little bit and turning in general Overall, he's not too bad. He he's based on the Kiru, um, 
the Kiru Gundam uh, from a older Sangue, um, older SD Gundam line, and they remote quite a lot of stuff on him to actually make him uh, slightly different. The horn is brand new, the two saw is brand new. Uh, I believe the chest is slightly re redeco. The dragon head is changed slightly because the original Kiru Gundam actually got a gem in the middle, and behind it is a is a it's a silver sticker with the name Q on the back. So uh, through the through the um, through the plastic gem, you can actually see his name and both. So they remove one of the nicest features of that kit. Yeah, they also remove uh, the hole here. This hole is originally for um, for you to actually mount his um, dragon tail on the on his head onto the side. But uh, he did retain the little slot on the side, so his dragon, whoops, lost his feet, can actually be mounted on onto the shoulder armor. It can, I just can't be bothered to actually put it on. So overall, it's fine, really. Well, it's fine until you put it next to a modern SD Gundam. And you suddenly thought, what in the world happened to him? How come he's so short? Really, um, this is prob the fact that he actually priced as the same as um, modern SD Gundam kit is a bit of an insult to people who actually you who actually has been buying SD SD Gundam kit since uh, they were a kid because this guy in his original form Kiru Gundam was about four hundred yen. Now they rank it up to six hundred yen. And he's ex almost exactly the same. In fact, he actually got less uh, gimmick on him. Oh, by the way, uh, this is the clear version of um, of Cho and Gundam in the bare body. Remember, I did say that I had because of this. This because I got the original Cho and Gundam. This is bare body. That's right. I'm going to take him apart and combine it with this body, and hopefully. I will have a brand new Ruho Gundam with the modern aesthetic and articulation. So what is going to happen then? Um, it turns out that this piece uh, can be mounted onto um, a normal SD Gundam with the slot on the chest quite easily. These two packs are actually around the same uh, width as the two two thread, uh, the two slots. But they're slightly too thick, so I'm going to just sand it down, and I'll mount it on there. The helmet, unfortunately, is a bit more difficult. The head on the older kit is smaller, so the helmet actually doesn't fit directly onto him. On the other hand, what I really want from this helmet is this tail. This horn, uh, this and uh, head crest, and the front face guard. That's all of the pieces I actually want from this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this bit out, which uh, and then stick it on onto this piece. So they're going to stick together. That way, uh, the dragon tail can be mounted on. And what? What also is available here is you can see here is a slot. This is the bit where um, Cho and Gundam usually has a um, additional piece with a, with a ponytail attached to it here. I'll cut the ponytail off, use that piece as a mounting point, and that piece is going to be attached to the um, to the back of basically around here. By doing that, the whole helmet would become a front face and um, top of the head crest uh, assembly. So that will finish the, um, uh, the head protection off. One thing that I really like about this kit though is uh, the front skirt. This front skirt looks really, really nice. The little bit, the middle bit I'm not too worried about, but what I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off since uh, I can butcher this whole uh, body now. And what I'm going to do carefully is to use the Dremel to actually 
to actually clean off all of the surface detail on here. And once that is clean, I will stick this on top of that. Because this bit is slightly smaller than this, um, that will make it look like it's actually part of the decoration of the skirt. The shoulder armor, I actually read, read it and seen it somewhere on the internet. It's actually pretty easy to actually fit onto here. The only bit that is actually restrictive is that the two pegs on the standard sangria then is a bit too long. So if I actually file that down a little bit to the point that it's actually friction grip, then that will actually go down very easily. So that's another piece done. So finally, is the backpack. Let's take the sword out. The sword is actually good enough to put in. And this piece is probably a bit too short for my liking. So I might have some additional rod I can use to actually go onto it. The last piece is this. The backpack. You can see there's two uh, holes here and there's two holes there, so they're not going to fit. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to trim the uh, edge of this hole slightly to the point that is actually fit in in between uh, the two holes. So I'm going to cut it into a bit of a, of a C shape, something like that. At a certain point, that, that slot is going to be matching to that. Then it will actually slip on very easily again. So, finger crossed, those are going to work. So I will come back in a bit.